Go. We will demonstrate the appropriate procedure and protocol in obtaining lab specimens via venipuncture. Confirms healthcare providers order for blood tests and organizes barcode labels. Checks the lab list against the barcode labels, ensures all labels are correct, verifies patient name and medical record number on the labels, verifies testing information, gathers equipment, gloves, alcohol swabs or chlorhexidine, tourniquet, sterile needle to obtain blood specimen, butterfly, vacutainer, specimen tube, check expiration dates, two by two gauze, tape, white disposable washcloth or barrier, and specimen transport bag. Double checks tubes and correct order of draw. Performs hand hygiene. Maintains aseptic technique. Introduces self to patient and or family member. Hi, I'm Selena, I'm gonna be your nurse today. Hi. Can you tell me your name and date of birth? My name is Jack O'Lantern. My date of birth is 1031, 1977. Okay, thank you. Determines and implements appropriate patient or family education. Explains purpose of blood sampling. I'm here to draw some blood for, um, from you today, okay? Just to check your labs. Okay. Checks limb for restrictions. Don's appropriate PPE. If patient is in the bed, raises bed to waist level. Are you comfortable this way? Opens the white washcloth or clean paper towel and places it on the patient's overbed table as indicated. Places the supplies and the transport bag on the cloth or barrier and assembles equipment. Note, depending on type of vacutainer, please remove the needle from the vacutainer. Positions the patient for comfort and assesses veins to determine the best puncture site. Applies tourniquet above anticipated site of venous puncture with slip knot four to six inches, minimum of two above the intended site, proximal to venous puncture site. Do not occlude distal pulse. This is gonna feel a little tight on your arm, okay? Okay. It's gonna be a little tight. Do not leave tourniquet in place longer than one minute. Extends the patient arms and checks or palpates for best venous access or appropriate vein. Traces direction of vein with finger. Once site is selected, releases tourniquet. Opens alcohol prep or chlorhexidine as per facility and cleanses the site to be punctured. If using alcohol, rub for 30 seconds. If using chlorhexidine, use a gentle back and forth motion. Ooh, it's cold. Sorry. Prepares needle or butterfly needle, vacutainer and tube, and reapplies tourniquet. After disinfection, does not palpate the venipuncture site unless sterile gloves are worn. Sorry, it's gonna be tight again, okay? Okay.
Stabilizes skin with non-dominant hand. Holds the patient's arm in a downward position with non-dominant hand. Positions needle tip with bevel up for optimum flow and stabilizes arm. Aligns the needle and vacutainer device with the chosen vein, holding the vacutainer and needle in dominant hand. Uses the thumb or first finger of non-dominant hand to apply pressure and traction to the skin just below, one to two inches, the identified puncture site. Informs the patient that he or she is going to feel a pinch. I'm gonna, you're gonna feel a quick pinch, okay? Okay. With the bevel of the needle up, inserts the needle into the vein at a 30 degree angle to the skin and Ouch. enters the vein. Grasps the vacutainer secure, securely to stabilize it in the vein with non-dominant hand. Pushes first collection tube into the puncture device in the vacutainer until the rubber stopper on the collection tube is punctured. Monitors flow of blood into specimen tube and fills to appropriate level. Changes tubes without moving needle tip. Inverts tube gently to adequately mix any additive that is in the tube, approximately eight to 10 times. At the completion of the draw, removes the last tube, releases vacuum before withdrawing the needle, removes the tourniquet, Places a gauze pad over the puncture site and slowly and gently removes the needle from the vein. Do not apply pressure to site until needle has been fully removed. Remove needle using safety device precaution and then activating the needle protector safety device. Let me hold. patient to apply pressure where possible. Okay, just hold that with a little pressure if you don't mind. Okay. Pressure is applied for two to three minutes or until bleeding has stopped. After bleeding stops, reassess the site and applies bandage. The person who collects spe the specimen must write on a label on the tube at the patient's bedside on all specimen types. The time of collection in military time and their first initial and full last name. Note, for type and screen, ensure a second licensed nurse, second licensed practitioner, i.e. RN, MD, PA, verifies patient and then signs the pink tube also. Label all specimens at the bedside in required alignment and labels are placed vertically. Performs final check My name is Jack O'Lantern. My date okay. of birth is 1031, 1977. Thank you. Can you state your name and date of birth again for me? Jack O'Lantern, date of birth is 1031, 1977. Thank you. Sorry, once again. State your name and date of birth. Jack O' Lantern, 1031, 77. Okay. Okay. Jack O' Lantern, 1031, 1977. Okay. Final one, okay. All right, date of birth, name. Jack. A lantern, lantern. 103177. Okay. Is there another nurse that can sign with you for that? Yes, I am going to go and get that nurse now. Making sure. Thank you.
I can sign for you. So okay, you know. great. Thank you. Ma'am, can you just verify your name and date of birth? Sure. Jack O'Lantern. Date mm -hmm. of birth is 103177. Thank you so okay. much. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Places specimen in transport bag without touching outside of bag. Seal specimen transport bag and sends to lab immediately after obtaining specimen. Thank you.